Also at the state capitol, an oversight committee met to talk about ways to fix issues we saw on election day. One of those issues, those long lines that some voters faced just to get their vote to count. Kentucky Secretary of State Republican Michael Adams testified before the committee, thanking legislators for funding the expansion of the elections. He said lines people faced on election day could have been longer without the early voting days. However, we had some reports of voters waiting in line for several hours before they could vote, specifically in Bullock County. Republican Representative Jason Nemus of Middletown called it a form of voter suppression, even saying plans should have never been approved for some places in Kentucky. This is unacceptable. If it had rained, how many other people would have left? We're looking for voter suppression in America. It happened in Oldham County this year. Completely unacceptable. So I want to know before we begin our remarks, how are we going to make sure that this doesn't happen again? More than four times as many voters voted Tuesday as voted in the three early voting days combined. The lesson here is that in 2023, in order to reduce lines, we need more voting locations, not more voting days. Michael Adams suggested two ways to expand polling locations. The first, granting emergency powers to give counties flexibility to consolidate voting locations with approval from the governor and secretary of state. The other suggestion was to create a formula that would set a minimum on the number of voting locations that a county would need.